Pruning Everbearing Raspberries with Dr. Reza Raffi of Virginia State University's Randolph Farm, pruning both high tunnel and field raspberries. Uh, hello, my name is Reza Raffi and I'm an extension specialist for small fruits and vegetables with Virginia State University. And today here we are at our uh, Randolph Farm high tunnel greenhouses uh, that uh, we are going to show you how to prune raspberry. We have four different varieties of raspberries in our, at our, in our high tunnel. They are Polka, John Jay, Josephine, and Himbo Top. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to prune uh, raspberry. Uh, the varieties that we have in our high tunnel, uh, they are what they call primocane uh, fruiting raspberries or ever-bearing raspberries. And what they are, they usually produce two crops in each year. The first crop that comes when the shoot comes up or the cane comes up is called primer cane. And then after you finish with that uh, harvest, there is a second harvest that happens in the following year. In order to be able to do that, you need to prune up your, uh, your uh, cane or your plant and then prepare it for the following year, which uh, we could probably have that second harvest in May. Some farmers prefer not to do that uh, because there is a little bit of extra work involved with that. And what they do, they just prefer to have one crop each year uh, just to reduce the volume of work involved in the pruning and preparation and so on. However, also the quality of the fruit for the second harvest is usually inferior to the first crop uh, harvest. So that's another reason that some farmers just prepare to have that good quality, higher yield harvest, which happens once in every year. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to prune and prepare the plant for both of those harvests. Now this is a... So what is meant by primocane, floricane, and everbearing raspberries? Well, everbearing raspberries send up new primocanes continuously. The primocane is a new shoot that comes from the crown that bears fruit on terminal buds. The next year, that primocane that's yielded fruit becomes a floricane and breaks dormancy with new side shoots with slightly earlier fruiting. This might be a lower quality, somewhat smaller fruit, but it gives an extra early yield, sometimes called a second early spring crop. So what is the life cycle of the raspberries we're pruning? In the wintertime, all the carbohydrates are stored in the crowns. The plant becomes dormant. It's our time to prune to remove some of the excess canes and old dead flora canes. In the spring, we start to get growth. In the summer, we have new fruit from flora canes and new primocanes, all the way to the fall when frost kills the plants once again. And then the cycle repeats. So one more time, primocanes are the new shoots coming from the crowns with fruit on the growing tips. And flora canes are last year's dormant canes that break new side shoots. What, what I'm going to do, I'm going to prepare the plant for the second harvest. So therefore, we just do cleaning and top pruning of the plant. So these are the cane that I'm getting ready to prune. And the side branches, I prune them. The top one, I just prune the part that they gave me fruit. Uh, I'm kind of cleaning my canes. Uh, all of these canes are clean. Uh, The part that they gave me fruit, as you see, these are last season fruits. Uh, we need to cut them and prune them and remove them. So what remains is only a cane. We, see we have the cane, which is, uh, has a few side branches. And uh, you want to make sure we remove all of last year's fruit. Uh, this is actually as an example of, of a cane that has some side branches and then it's clean. Most of the, most of the material that they or, uh, or the part that they gave us fruit last year 
have been pruned. So if I leave this the following May, I'm going to have the second crop because the first crop was on the top and then the second crop uh, would be formed in next May uh, in the lower part of, the, of this cane. So this is what we call the uh, flory cane uh, a harvest or the second harvest which is the fruit are formed in the lower part of the cane and they are smaller as I mentioned the quality of the fruit are not as good as uh, uh, the first primal cane pruning pruning yeah this is the this is the part that uh, we actually pruned uh, from last year and then if you look this is the lower part of the uh, cane that fruits the following spring, uh, or toward the end, the end of the spring in May, and the flower buds usually uh, come uh, sprout from here, and they form a, for a small branches and produce uh, lots and lots of lots of fruit. Um, the other way to prune raspberry is just to mow down all the canes, old canes, and start next spring in March sprouting uh, a new primer cane. So that in order to be able to do that, doing that, uh, it just gives us only one crop per year. In order to be able to do that, we just come on the crown of the, of the on the top, uh, top soil, and we start pruning as low as we can. We start removing the old, the old cane I want to make sure that I'm pruning this as as low as we can because uh, we want the new canes to start coming from under the underground and uh, from the underground under the soil the from the crown under the soil so those are stronger and better quality cane uh, primal cane for next year uh, so I'm going to see uh, my pruner is not very effective today, so I'm just removing all the all the cane that I have in here and then preparing it. This is what I mean. Just make sure you prune this as low as you can. Yeah, that's better. So this is an area that I removed the new cane, the old canes. And as I said, there are one in here. I'm just going to go in there and remove that. And if you look at this area, the, all of the old canes on this plant are removed. The following years, the, the new primacone sprouts and come up and start producing uh, fruit. Uh, in, uh, in, in, the, in, in our high time, we usually start producing, they start producing fruit in late, uh, late April or beginning, beginning May of, of, the, of, of this year. Okay? Okay, it's really important after we get done with the uh, pruning the old material, they contain quite a bit of uh, um, diseases and problems. We should remove them and discard them in a different area. We do not want to maintain them in, the, in our high tunnel. So it's very, we recommend that they should be moved out and, and uh, out, of the, out of the area. So I'm just going to continue with uh, pruning more, uh, more of the old uh, canes and remove them, set them aside. Yeah, this is actually the area that we have the old canes. If you look, uh, it's hard even to see any part of the old canes and the crown is underground, under, under the soil. And um, in a few months when it warms up in March, I will start getting well, uh, the new uh, primer cane sprouts and we'll get all kind of uh, new shoots uh, coming up and establishing uh, the plant for, uh, for, for our end of the spring and summer, summer crop. Now that we've seen pruning raspberries in the high tunnel with Dr. Raffi, let's go out to the farm and check out how to prune field raspberries. 
Here you'll see we're using power tools, which can speed up the process, especially when we're doing a complete mow down of the floricanes for a new primocane crop. Care must be taken not to cut into irrigation lines and also to remove the debris at the end of the process. We will also show pruning one row as floricanes, where they are thinned and the tips removed just as we did in the high tunnel. Here we'll have one bed where two rows have been cut to the ground and one row has been trimmed for an early floricane crop. Notice the complete removal of debris. All old canes and trash material on the beds are removed and placed in a pile for burning for insect and disease control. Here you will see a floricane pruned row where the tips have been removed and all dead and old frozen flowers removed as well as the canes thinned to six to eight per crown. 